investigators say they caught a quiet Long Island woman bilking money from banks and giving it to terrorists. News 4's Ravietta has the details on this startling case for us tonight. Neighbors here in Brentwood tell me they've noticed undercover officers here in their community for months. They knew an investigation was underway. Now they're finding out one of their neighbors was arrested, accused of funneling money to ISIS. Investigators on the trail in Brentwood piecing together a scheme they say was organized by 27-year-old Zubia Shanaz. The objective, the feds say, getting money to ISIS. All they said is they were looking for someone. The Department of Justice says Shanaz devised a plan from March to July to defraud thousands of dollars from different banks and credit companies. According to the feds, she took out a loan for more than $20,000. Investigators say she applied for more than a dozen credit cards, using that money to buy more than $60,000 in Bitcoin. According to a federal complaint, Shanaz wired more than $150,000 to Pakistan, China, and Turkey to shell entities ultimately to benefit ISIS. I'm just think, glad my, one of my sons isn't here living anymore because he's a lieutenant colonel in the army and he spent three years in Afghanistan and he knows what it's like. The Fed say Shanaz planned to fly to Pakistan on July 31st. They say she had quit her job as a hospital lab technician in Manhattan and was planning on getting into Syria. Prosecutors say she was in touch with ISIS recruiters via the internet. Hypothetically, uh, a person can hide money for humanitarian purposes, too. Shanaz now faces several charges, including money laundering and bank fraud. Her attorney says the money was for a good cause. She worked at a hospital uh, in some war-torn areas, and what she saw made her devoted to uh, lessening the suffering uh, of a lot of the Syrian refugees. No answer at the door, but the arrest is sending shockwaves to the neighborhood.